The Weierstrass substitution, also known as the tangent half angle substitution, is like magic. It works for all trigonometric integrals of the form integral r of sine of x cosine of x dx, where r is any rational function of sine of x and cosine of x, by substituting u equals the tangent of x over 2, we get the sine of x as 2u over 1 plus u squared, the cosine of x as 1 minus u squared over 1 plus u squared, and dx as 2 over 1 plus u squared du. And this effectively turns any trigonometric integral of this kind into a rational integral in terms of u that can be then evaluated using the method of partial fractions. Okay, let's solve some problems involving Weierstrass substitution. So use Weierstrass substitution to evaluate this definite integral. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you pause it and have found the value to be 2. So we can use this tangent half angle substitution, as it's also known, by simply substituting um, for uh, u uh, the tangent of x over 2. And as it was mentioned on the slides, that means that um, the cosine of x becomes 1 minus u squared over 1 plus u squared, whereas dx becomes 2 over 1 plus u squared du. So as uh, x takes on the values negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, u takes on the values tangent of negative pi over 4 and the tangent of pi over 4 uh, these values are known and they're just negative 1 and 1 so the integral goes from negative 1 to 1 and so what we get if we multiply the denominators we will get the uh, definite integral from negative 1 to 1 of 2 over 1 plus u squared plus 1 minus u squared du. So this is simply the integral of 1 du because the u squared cancels and so we divide 2 by 1 plus 1 that is 2. So we get this integral it's u changing from negative 1 to 1 so that's 1 minus negative 1 which is simply 2. Let's look at the next question. Use Weierstrass substitution to evaluate this definite integral. So pause the video and input your answer in the box now. Hope you paused it and have found the value to be 1. Again, we just want to use the tangent half angle substitution. Um, that is to say that u is equal to the tangent of x over 2. And that turns this integral into a rational integral in terms of u. So u is equal to the tangent of um, x over 2 and as we saw before if u is equal if x is equal to 0 then it's the tangent of 0 that is 0 if x is equal to pi over 2 then it's the tangent of pi over 4 that is equal to 1 so we are integrating from 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus the sine of x becomes 2 u over 1 plus u squared whereas dx is 2 over 1 plus u squared du. Therefore, multiplying the denominators uh, leads us with the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 divided by 1 plus u squared plus 2u du. The denominator is a square, namely it is um, u plus 1 squared. So we could again substitute a new variable for, for u plus 1 or just simply write this as negative 2 over u plus 1 for an antiderivative. Uh, its change from 0 to 1 will be negative 2 over 1 plus 1 minus negative 2 over 0 plus 1. So that's minus 1 plus 2, that is plus 1. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.